Hey guys, it's Monica. I want to quickly share with you a couple of things. You know, sometimes I get questions and like I'm always a little bit reluctant to sometimes answer the questions because I don't want people to think that I'm trying to tell them what to do, that I'm a dermatologist, which you all know I'm not, or that I'm any kind of a skincare expert. But I often get sometimes the same questions one after another. And so every now and then when that happens, I figure it might be best to just kind of address it in a little video. So in this video, I'm going to tackle the thorny topic of vitamin C. What do I use? How do I use it? When do I use it? So I have been for, gosh, I don't know, ever since I first started using vitamin C on my face in maybe summer of 2016, I'm really not too sure now, I have been using the Timeless Vitamin C. Now, before I got the Timeless, I bought vitamin C over the counter at TJ Maxx, at Marshalls, or any place, any place I could find some vitamin C, I would just pick it up. And then I realized that there was a difference between vitamin Cs. So for the longest time, I was an avid, timeless vitamin C user. I absolutely loved it. Now, I follow the Mary Ellen after 60 way of doing this. And so when I say that, I will buy the timeless vitamin C when it has their big, when they have their big sales. Sometimes it's 50% off. Now, at the last one I saw it was 40% off, but then I will buy the big refill bottle. And I usually buy one big one. Sometimes I have two going or whatever, but then I will wrap it up really tight and I will put it in the freezer. I put it in the freezer, I date it. So I know when it went in the freezer and all of that stuff. I usually have a smaller bottle and I just pour the larger bottle into it as I need it. So at one point, I kept hearing about Mad Hippie, Mad Hippie, Mad Hippie. There are a number of content creators that just absolutely love the Mad Hippie Vitamin C. So I thought, my gosh, you know, when it went on sale, there was a really great sale. I can't remember the exact, what, you know, what the savings was, but it was significant. So I bought two bottles of the Mad Hippie Vitamin C because it was a huge, huge sale. One bottle was still in my freezer, and I just finished. This is completely empty, this one bottle. While I was working on the Mad Hippie, I had figured I would let the timeless rest. So the timeless stayed in the freezer. I kind of reluctantly abandoned it to see if the Mad Hippie was going to be better for my skin, if I was going to have a visual improvement, if, you know, what was going to happen. So I didn't pick up on it right away. It took a while. I think I was using this. I mean, the difference in the consistency is this is a real thick consistency. It's tacky. It does absorb nicely into the skin, but it's tacky. Where this is much more watery, no tackiness at all. When I get up in the morning, I wash my face, I tone my face. I use an essence most of the time, not all the time. And then I would immediately go in and I would use my vitamin C. And then after my vitamin C, I would use my Matrixel. So the difference is between the two. And this is really what I want to talk about. So I only use the vitamin C in the morning. Now I know some people use it at night along with their Retin-A. And that's fine. Whatever floats their boat, whatever works for them, whatever their dermatologist says, their skincare professional says, I definitely think they should do. For me, however, I only use this in the morning. So what I was noticing when I stopped using the Timeless and I went to the Mad Hippie is after a week or so, I kept picking up on the fact, now I have a hard time when my skin is peeling anyways, so I kept picking up on the fact that my foundation, whatever foundation I would put on, it would immediately peel up. It would like, it would like get gunky looking and, and just, you know, like glue on my face. I don't know how better to describe it. I would wash it off and I would like start all over again. And sometimes after I wash my face again, it would be a little bit better. And because my skin peels a lot, I have, I have to deal with foundation issues more than I care to. But the one thing that I noticed for me anyways, if I use this in the morning, no matter what foundation I put on, no matter what condition my skin is, my canvas can be smooth as a baby's bum. 
and I stick this on and then I put a foundation over it and it's going to be it's going to be it's just going to be awful. So for me, the Mad Hippie Vitamin C simply does not play with any foundation that I use. It just doesn't. So I kept trying, kept trying, and then after a while I kept thinking, it's got to be this. I stopped using the Mad Hippie. I cleaned off my face. I just stopped using it. I let like two or three days go by without any vitamin C, and I'm really addicted to vitamin C. I took my Timeless out of the freezer. This was almost gone. Took this out of the freezer, and I started to use this. I had no problems at all. I would use my vitamin C. I would do my normal routine. I would put my my skin, my my foundation on, do my normal thing. I didn't have a problem. Now, granted, if my skin was in a flaky stage, I had a problem no matter what. But when it isn't in the flaky stage, I had a horrible, horrible issue with the Mad Hippie Vitamin C. So I wasn't too sure what was going on. So every time I used this, the Timeless, my foundation was almost flawless. It was beautiful. And then I said, well, I'm going to give it a test. My skin's not flaking. My skin's in really super, super good condition. My canvas is nice. I took the rest of this. I put it on my face. I did the Matrixel just like I normally would. I went and I did my makeup after it, you know, absorbed in, I don't know, 20 minutes. Depends on my day. I put my foundation on and my foundation just totally looked like crap. Looked like crap. Washed it off. Did it again. It was a little bit better, but not much better. The next morning, I just used the Mad Hippie with nothing else, no Matrixel, no other product, let it sink in, came in, did my foundation, and my foundation looked like crap again. Now, I'm exfoliating my skin. I'm making sure the dead skin is off. I know when I'm going through a peely stage because I have them frequently, and I also know when my canvas is really super smooth. So for me personally, the Mad Hippie was a huge fail under makeup. It may be an awesome vitamin C. I'm not doubting that. It may be an awesome. And the only other vitamin C that I consistently used was the Timeless. I do want to look at the, what is it, Skin Deva. I wanted to look at their vitamin C because I use some of their products that I really, really like. But I haven't bought their vitamin C yet. So it, the Timeless, which is 20% C, E plus C and E and for like ASIC serum. I really, really like this. The Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum. Alone on weekends, I had no issues with it, but under makeup, this thing just bit it. It just was no good for me. So this is great. This isn't. I use my, my Retin-A cream, 1% in hydroquinone mixture, and then a 1% Retin-A alternate. So one night I'm using the Retin-A in combination with the Hydroquinone cream and I put that on the areas especially where I have like the darker spots that I'm trying to concentrate on. The next night I just use my 1% Retin-A and I have, that's my routine. So I don't use the vitamin C in the evening in conjunction with my Retin-A. I just don't. So whether that makes a difference or not, I don't know. But for me, Retin-A and vitamin C, they, they just don't go together on the same, in the same application. So to me, the Retin-A is at night, the vitamin C is in the morning. So in the morning also is a no-brainer. You have to have your sunblock. You definitely have to have your sunblock. I mean, what are you doing everything to your skin for if you're just going to walk around and let it get sun exposure and get wrecked? So that's the answer to the questions about my vitamin C, which one I'm liking, how I'm using it, and when I use it in conjunction with my Retin-A, my little Retin-A stash. So in my little Retin-A stash, I have the Retin-A that I'm currently using. I use the Hydroquinone Trulium, and then I use the Tretinoin Gel 1%. Alternate, I alternate these. I use this the Olay Pro Retinol around my eyes every morning and every night. And I use this going down my neck at night only. So this is a 0.5%. I was using a 0.25% down my neck. I ran out of that. So now I'm working on this. I usually mix this 
with a little bit of my rose hip seed oil in the, my hand and I just put that down my neck. I mean, you could use any other any other oil if you want. It's just that I, for me, that works really down my neck really nice. And then in the morning, I use different neck creams. I don't use the Retin-A at all. So that's what I'm doing for my Retin-A. So that kind of is a long roundabout way to answer the question you had on how I'm using vitamin C. I'm using it in the morning. So thanks so much for hanging in there and I will share with you a couple of other things in my next video.